Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of the Macaulay GS350 hard drive enclosure. This is an enclosure for three and a half inch SATA hard drives. It accepts one hard drive, really nice styling. I'm going to show you how to install a hard drive and then give my opinion about this device and also talk you through the uh, performance as well. Now the actual model number of this, there are various ones, this is the G S350 SUAB. So be careful, there are various models of this. So again, the GS350 SUAB. This is a Macaulay product, works with Windows uh, 2000 XP, uh, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Mac OS 10. So works with multiple systems. Let's show you what you get inside the box. So you are presented with uh, user manual and backup software. Backup software is for PC only. We also get a diagram and installation guide. So how we're going to actually install this in, or install a hard drive into this enclosure. And we get the hard drive enclosure itself. Really nice actually. There we go, there's the enclosure. Very, very nice styling. We'll have a closer look at that in a minute. Let's just pop that to one side. Just pop that down there. And then we've got some other goodies in here. So we have got absolutely everything you're going to need. We've got some hard drive mounting screws. I'm going to keep those out because I'm going to need those. We also get a little stand. So this is to screw to the base of the hard drive. And this is like a small stand. So we get some options with, with regards to stand. This is the other stand. This is my preferred option. So I'm going to take this out because I'm going to be using this. So this has got rubberized feet on the bottom, sits on the desk like that, and the hard drive stands in it, so it gives it some extra stability. So I'm going to be using that. And then we get all the cables we're going to need. eSATA, we get a Firewire 400 cable. We get a Firewire 800 cable. We also get a USB cable. And then we get a power adapter. Now, this is a European one, so if you buy this in the UK, you should get a 3-pin UK plug, but if not, just cut that off and stick a plug on. And then this is a multi-voltage. Let's just take this out. This is a multi-voltage adapter. Power cable goes in there, and it runs, if you just check here with me, uh, 100 to 240 volts. So it work in anywhere in the world, and you just stick the appropriate cable with it. So let's pop that to one side and then let's show you this enclosure a little bit closer. So it mimics the design of the Apple Mac Pro, which I think is a really nice thing. Very, very nice looking enclosure. Got little handles on the top like the Mac Pro as well. Let's have a look around the back, show you these connections. So from top to bottom we've got Firewire 800, Firewire 400, eSATA, USB, the input there for the... Um, power cable and then let's just install a drive let's get this uh, drive inside now I have already done one of these so um, let's uh, do this second one I'm going to show you them both running under different conditions as well we've got a couple of screws on the back which just need loosening off so we take these we'll actually probably take them out completely So once they're loosened off, that comes off completely, like so. And then just push out from the back, and this releases the caddy. A little bit of a tight fit. Here's a bit of a wobble. There we go. Come on, out you come. There we go. So that's out of the outer enclosure. Now it accepts two and a half inch SATA drives, so I've got a two and a half inch SATA drive here. And all you do to install it, let's just put this wire down out of the way, is there's no cables to attach. All you're going to do is offer it up to this connection. So we pop the hard drive in like so, very carefully. And then pop 
pop it down into the enclosure. Make sure the um, connection lines up. Making a bit of a hard job of this. There we go. Actually, let's do that again. Let's pop that out. And this time we'll line up as we go, go in. So there we go, so that's better. So that's lined up, then we lower it in and then we push it home all the way. So I don't know if you saw that, but this connector here has actually gone into the hard drive, like so. And then we're gonna get the screws. So we need this little pack of screws. And we're gonna need four. So we get one, two, three, four. That's a different size one. We need the bigger ones. There we go. So four mounting screws. Pop these other ones out of the way. These ones here that I'm popping out of the way are for mounting that small base onto the bottom of the hard of the uh, outer enclosure. So let's turn this over, and it should line up. Then we've got some screw holes here. So we've got actually a cable in the way there. So we don't want to pinch that cable. Let's just take this out again. Now this wasn't like this on the original one I installed. Let's just pull that out and see what that cable is. It's always best to check this, but there is a cable in the way here, and this has just got in the way. So we're gonna push that round the side there, make sure nothing's gonna get pinched. So that's good. And then let's pop this in again. Again, give you a closer look at this. We're offering it up to, if I can get my light on there, to that connection there, making sure it lines up, and then pushing it in the rest of the way, like so. Now we can turn over, and this time we've got clear view on all of these mounting holes. Supporting the hard drive still, we're gonna put the first one in. Once that first one's in, I'll be happy to let go of the hard drive. Let's just turn my screwdriver around so it tightens. There we go, so that's the first one in, I can let go now. And then we'll pop the other ones in. So we've got one more to go in here. And then we've got one more to go in here. And then the last one to go in here. So that's all of the screws in. Nicely done. Then we're going to turn this back over, like so. And we're going to pop it back into the enclosure. Now again, it's a tight fit, so it needs a little bit of wobbling. Back into the enclosure, like so. And then we're going to pop this back back on. There we go. And we've got the two screws here to tighten up, which is going to hold everything in place. So one screw on this side, and then one screw on this side. Now those little tiny bases, or the little feet that I showed you, let me just show you the bottom here. There are two holes here, and they would go onto here. So you'd have the two little flat feet, but I prefer to use this. As I say, I've already been using one of these for a little while. So I prefer to use this and then sit it onto this stand. And that just gives it a little bit of extra stability whilst it's on your desk. So we get this connected up. I'm gonna connect one of these via USB and one via uh, Firewire 800. And I'll show you on screen the um, performance results using those two connections. So this is what they look like in situ. These are the two McCallie enclosures I've got. I wanted to show you one switched on and the other switched off. You get this nice blue glowing light on that power button when it's actually switched on. Um, now, I'm gonna show you an on-screen graphic with these enclosures actually attached using different connections. Now, they've both got the same identical Samsung two terabyte hard drive inside. One of them's connected via USB 2 that obviously gives you a good transfer rate. The second result you'll see in there on screen is the Firewire 800 connection. Obviously the better performer of the two, but with either connection I think you'll be very pleased the 
actual enclosure does a great job of keeping the hard drive cool. You've got no noisy fans and they're a real pleasure to have in your setup. So I hope that on-screen graphic has certainly helped you. Um, in conclusion, this has just been performing so well. It really does look the part. I love the styling. Uh, the performance, very, very good. USB 2 works fine. Firewire obviously improves the performance of the drive, but I've just been really pleased with it. Now, it's not cheap. This Macaulay GS350 SUAB hard drive enclosure is going to cost you uh, around about 90 to 95 pound in the UK. In the US you get a slightly better deal, it's going to cost you about 70 dollars. But I've been just so so pleased with how this has performed. I think it's well worth the money, it's very well constructed and a high quality piece of kit. Well thank you very much for watching, please do come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geekanoids channel. This video is sponsored by Zinio. The best way to read magazines on your laptop, desktop or mobile device. Visit Zinio.com